Okay, everyone. So in this next lesson, let's just try to go and apply some basic styling so that the form that we have here will be placed in the middle of our page here. Now let's go and apply some styling for our form container here. I'm just going to remove the one there. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to target this form container. Now let's try to go and give this a width of 25%, border of 3 pixel solid white, and I want to give it a position of absolute. Let me just go correct this percent here. Let's also give it a background color first. Background color of orange red, just for testing purposes. Let me just go and position this. So, so we would want to have a position absolute here. Then top 50%, left 50%. Let's go and refresh our browser and see how this will look on our browser. And there you go. You would see now that we have our form in the middle. One key thing to take note here is that the value that we gave it, the top absolute value, will be 50% from the top, moving to this point of reference here. And then here, 50% from the left, moving to this reference here. And if we want to go and move it to the middle of the box here that we have here, just take note, let me just go and open up our inspector here. You would see that our div here has that distance from the from the top and the, the distance from the left. Okay. Now one quick trick here that you can use for positioning your elements, we would want it to move up here, a little bit up here, so that we will be having the middle of the form as the 50%. And we would also want it to move 50% to the left here. So fifty negative fifty percent to the to the top and negative fifty percent to the left using the transform property. So let me show it to you so at least you'll be having a much clearer idea here. So that we can go and center this, we can use the transform translate property that will be we will be giving it fifty percent, negative fifty percent, negative fifty percent here, and let's see how the form will be repositioned in our browser here. So now you would see that it's in the middle from 50% from the top and 50% from the left. Now let's try to go and give this a height of 56.4 viewport height and a box shadow of 0, 0, 010 pixels black and border radius of 5 pixels. Let's see how that will look on our browser. And there you go. We now have a simple sign-up form here. We will just need to reposition our elements inside the input type element and the label element here and the buttons. Now what I want to do here is to remove the background color that we gave the form container. And let's go down here and Let's just remove some of the spaces here. And I would want to target the form sign up. Sign up div 1 here. Let me just check here if that's the correct. Let me use here a camel case. I prefer using camel case, of course, rather than the flat form of naming our class here. So let's go and give it a background color of RGB 1684211. And let's also give it a padding of at least 3 pixels, margin of 2 pixels, height of 55 viewport height here, and border radius of 5 pixels. Let's also give it a color of white. 
and of course we need to correct the camel keys here so let's now go to our browser and check how that will look on our browser here and there you go of course we need to reposition our elements here the buttons here I just want to move our sign up header here and the text below it a little bit to the left and I would want to have a little bit of margin at the bottom for this paragraph that we have here so let's go and try to do that let me just go here h1 then give it a margin left of 5 pixels and for the paragraph I would want to go and apply some I'll call this uh, para 1 then I would want to apply some margin left of 5 pixels and margin bottom of 2 pixels and of course we would want to give this a class name here class para 1 but let's have form para 1 okay so let's go to our browser and check how that will look on our browser we can see that the sign up here heading moved but the paragraph didn't move let's double check our code here okay so I forgot to put the form para here so let's go and refresh and there you go where there's a little bit of space now now what I want to do here is to give an ID here and I would want it to be first name and here I also want this to have an ID of last name last name and let's try to go and reference that here first name and I would want to give that a border radius of 5 pixels margin of 2 pixels, 5 pixels, 5 pixels to the bottom, and 5 pixels to the left. If you remember the, cir the circular styling that we usually use for margin, and 5 pixels from padding left, and margin bottom of 10 pixels, and height of 30 pixels here. Now let's go back to our browser and let's check how that will look like okay so we now have our first name now let's apply the same styling that we applied here to our last name so let me go back to our code editor here i just want to go and copy this and then call this last name id last name so let's go back to our browser and then refresh and there we go we now have our first name and last name input elements in our form here so that will be all for this lesson so we'll be continuing with the other parts of our form here in our next lesson so thank you and see you on our next lesson